Hi, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheth. In this video, we will see how to find the composition of phases present in a system. Let us start. So, for determining the phase composition, we have to take an example of a phase diagram and then we will see how to determine the composition of each and every phase. So, we will take an example of the copper nickel system which is a binary phase diagram having two components which is copper and nickel so this is the phase diagram on the x-axis we have the weight percent of nickel starting from 20 and going up to 50 so this is a magnified version of the phase diagram it is not starting from 0 and it is not going to 100 it is just a piece of a phase diagram so that we can easily see a magnified areas of the phase diagram and it is easier for us to understand and determine the phase composition and on the y axis we have the temperature starting from 1100 1200 to 1300 and below this we have the same phase and so we are not talking about that so from 0 to 1100 we have the same phase here and we have the two phases the green area is the liquid phase the blue area is the solid phase and this is also called as an alpha phase and in between we have a phase field of liquid plus alpha so here if you are in this area we have a phase field which is a combination of both the phases of liquid and solid this is the liquidus line and this is the solidus line so above the liquidus line the entire phase is liquid phase below the solidus line the entire phase is a solidus phase so if we want to determine the phase composition present we should know the temperature and the original composition then we can easily determine what is the composition of each phase present so Suppose we have a solid phase, suppose we have a liquid phase, we should know what is the composition of phases. Composition means the weight percent of nickel and weight percent of copper. So what is what are the distribution of the weight percentage at that particular temperature and composition that we have to find out. And mainly it is simple when we are in a one phase field like when we are in liquid or solid but it becomes slightly complicated when we are in the liquid and alpha phase so quickly we'll see for liquid and solid phase then we'll come to the main point of phase composition like determining the phase composition in the two phase field so we'll start by considering an original composition so co is nothing but an original composition and sometimes we also call that as an overall composition so whatever it may be so that is the main composition and that we are taking as 35 weight percent of nickel so we don't have to do anything we just have to figure out where is 35 weight percent of nickel and then we'll draw a vertical line from that point onwards and the next is suppose we are given a point and we are given point a so here at point a okay the phase present is the entire phase is liquid phase so uh, it does not have a problem okay so the entire phase is a liquid phase and we are given a certain temperature temperature that is temperature at point a and that is approximately 1450 degree celsius so we are given a temperature we are given a original composition and we need to find out what is the phase present first so that is the first thing which we'll find out and as we know that we it is just one one phase here it is just a liquid phase so we'll say that okay liquid phase is there but now the composition the composition of the liquid phase is equal to the composition that is the overall composition so cl is equal to co and the composition of liquid is nothing but 35 weight percent of nickel so very easy and simple to find out why because it is only one phase so one phase means the original composition is equal to the composition of that particular phase so here 35 is the original composition 35 is the composition of liquid moving on to the next example suppose we take point d and at particular temperature which is corresponding to that particular point and here again the original composition 
is nothing but 35 and the temperature at point D if you draw a horizontal line it is around 1140 okay 1140 and the phase present it is below the solidus line so the entire phase is a solid phase or alpha phase we can call it and the original composition is again equal to the composition of the alpha phase so the composition of the alpha phase the composition original composition is same it is 35 weight percent nickel so it is easy when we have one phase okay that is what i was trying to say now moving on to the next one next one so if we take a point b which is in between the phase field where we have both alpha and liquid phase now here it becomes slightly complicated but there is a method what we need to do is we need to draw a tie line this is called as a tie line so we are drawing a tie line which is a horizontal line so what we have to do is we are drawing this line from point b a horizontal line it should touch the liquidus line and the solidus line it should touch the liquidus and the solidus line that is the tie line and we are given a temperature that is 1240 that is 1240 degree celsius at point b now as we have seen and we have know that here two phases are present that is liquid and alpha phase both are present in this particular point or place now how to find out what is the composition so the next thing you will do is you will draw a vertical line from this point so where you are meeting the liquidus line from there you will draw a vertical line up to the composition line that is the x-axis line and we will see where it is touching so 30 is somewhere here and it is just next to 30 so we can approximately say that the it is touching at around 29 weight percent of nickel so we can say that the composition of liquid because this is from the liquidus line so the composition of liquid is around 29 weight percent of nickel okay 29 weight percent of nickel similarly what we will do is we will draw a vertical line from the solidus line and it is going and touching the x-axis or the line where we see the weight percent of nickel so this is that line now let us see what is the weight percent or the composition there so it is around 42 because this is 40 so approximately this is around 42 so what we can say is the the composition of alpha is around 42 is around 42 weight percent of nickel so at this particular point so at point b at point b so the main focus is we want to know what is the composition present so at point b we have 29 weight percent of nickel okay in the liquid in the liquid phase okay because both the phases are present both the phases are present here we have liquid and alpha phase so in liquid we have 29 weight percent of nickel and in the solid phase we have 42 weight percent of nickel so that is how we should know the composition okay the composition the, the phase composition we should know what is the phase composition we know that there are two phases which are existent at point b two phases are there but in these two phases what is the composition or what is the weight percent nickel present in liquid what is the weight percent nickel present in the solid phase so when we draw a tie line and when we draw a vertical line from the tie line and where it is meeting on the x-axis we exactly know that in liquid that there is around 29 weight percent nickel in solid there is around 42 weight percent of nickel so this is how you find out the phase composition and the main complication exists when we have two phases or else when we have one phases it is pretty simple that it is equal to the overall composition so i hope you understood how to find the phase composition thanks for watching all the best